the Madani period, permission to migrate. The Prophet ﷺ permitted his companions to migrate to Medina, so they left in secret as not to be noticed. The first of them was said to have been Abu Salama al Makhzumi or Mus'ab ibn Umayr. When they came to the Ansar, the Ansar gave them shelter and aided them, and Islam spread within Al Madina. Later, the Messenger of Allah was allowed to migrate. He left out on a Monday in the month of Rabi al Awwal. At this time, he was 53 years old. With him was Abu Bakr and Amir ibn Fuhayra, a freed slave of Abu Bakr, and their guide, Abdullah ibn Uraikat al Laythi. The Prophet and Abu Bakr took shelter for a few days in the cave of Thor and then continued their journey via the coast. The Prophet entering in Al Medina. When the Prophet and those with him reached Medina, it was Monday, the 12th of Rabi al Awwal. They stayed at Quba, the highest point of Medina. Here they spent 14 days with Amr ibn Auf, the first masjid in Islam. They built Masjid Quba. Umar said that the Prophet would go to Masjid Quba every Saturday, either walking or riding. The Prophet also said, Praying in Masjid Quba is like performing Umrah. Building the Prophet Sallallahu Masjid. The Prophet Sallallahu then rode through the streets of Medina on his she camel. The people of Medina asking him to come and stay with him and reaching for his camel. But he would say, leave her for she has been commanded. She stopped at the place of his masjid today. This spot belonged to Sahal and Suhail, two young boys from the tribe of Banu Najjar. At this point, he would stay with Abu Ayyub and Ansari. Then they built his masjid in the same spot with bricks and palm branches. After this, he وسلم, built his house and the houses of his wives next to the masjid. The closest house to the masjid was Aisha's, عنها, where he moved to from Abu Ayyub's house seven months later. Brotherhood After building the masjid, the Prophet وسلم, made brotherhood between the Muhajirun, who were 90, and the Ansar, who are a lot more in number than the Muhajirun, they would inherit from each other until the Battle of Badr. The Jews. When the Prophet ﷺ came to Medina and the Jews saw him, they knew he was the Messenger of Allah in truth mentioned in the Torah. However, despite that, only a few of them embraced Islam. From them was their most learned, Abdullah ibn Salam. The Prophet ﷺ drew up a separate covenant between the tribes of the Jews from them, Banu Qainuqa, and Banu Nadir, and Banu Qurayla. Qibla changed. After the prayer was obligated during the night journey, the Prophet ﷺ used to pray towards Bayt al However, he wanted to change the direction of the prayer to the Kaaba. He would turn his face towards the heavens, hoping for this. So Allah sent down, We have certainly seen the turning of your face, O Muhammad, towards the heavens. And we will surely turn you to your Qibla with that which you will be pleased. Surah Al-Baqarah, ayah number 144. Then in the second year after Hijrah, the Qibla was changed to the Kaaba.